movies. That's uh, I saw Dave made a maze. All right. Now this movie I was excited to see because it looked absolutely just ridiculous, fun, and uh, absurd, and it was. It was definitely all of those things. Nick Zone, who's been on the show, yes, is, is, it's his film. He builds a cardboard maze in his. Uh, uh, living room that it's a lot bigger on the inside than the outside. He gets lost in it. And then um, his girlfriend and a film crew and a bunch of his friends go in to try to save him from the maze. But it just gets bigger and bigger, like it has a life of its own. And there's a, a cardboard minotaur that chases them. And it's really an insane uh, movie. I want to see this now. I want. Can we stop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, I, I loved when I was reading the trivia about this that said they initially utilized scrap cardboard for an American apparel factory in L.A. Uh, the producer thought they had more than enough to le- for the length of the shoot, but then they ran out three weeks later, and the company would not give them any more scrap cardboard. <laughs> Damn. But luckily, they were shooting next to Solar City, and they were willing to have the crew dumpster dive for all the cardboard they needed. And then the cardboard was returned to those same dumpsters for recycling. The production did not pay for any cardboard. And the whole movie is literally a cardboard maze. So, And the other thing that they said is that there was only enough space for two rooms of the maze to be built at any one time. So while one was being filmed, the other one was being built. And they said the average lifespan of a room was four hours. So literally there was no reshoots because they had to tear down the cardboard sets every single uh, you That's know every ama- time they changed it. It's amazing it. that you liked it because it's a first not not that it's a first time director. Not that that right. means oh they are, they should be awful in their first outing, but like it's in, this guy Bill Watterson who's basically mm-hmm. just been a TV actor. Yeah. Um, but it was absurd and ridiculous. People died. But, and uh, and it was just it was that like and when I read the description I'm like horror comedy I'm like where where's the horror in this this is just kind of weird absurd but you know if you have a couple people die and from cardboard then you can slap the word horror on it I as mean it well. does sound like <laughs> utterly ridiculous but then potentially terrifying yeah <laughs> to be lost <clears throat> think of all the times you've gotten lost somewhere where you didn't expect to get lost where suddenly you're just even if it's a parking lot and you're like. Mm-hmm freaking out because you can't find your car or even how to get out of the lot you know like yeah. shit like that mm-hmm. always is kind of weird and intriguing so it was really inventive and interesting the way they did the different cardboard rooms and parts of the maze and the, the creatures that were actually inside it um it, it still felt like they did have that kind of first time director feel to it for sure it was definitely but, uneven and rough around the edges but who cares i mean it was a you know that's the kind of movie you know what you're getting into after you see the trailer and you know and i i from the trailer too i was like well this isn't just an inventive i just love an inventive idea like right, he builds exactly. this yeah. little cardboard thing and it actually goes into this giant world <laughs> yes i'm like mm-hmm. i'm in that sounds yeah. it felt like uh um being john malkovich sort of that right. like you know, it has that vibe. Seven and a half it has whatever. that vibe to it too. Now, the one thing I love that the uh, filmmaker did uh, did not do, like there's a uh, film crew that goes in to find um, Dave. They did not do the found footage bullshit thing. Oh, like I oh, was like, great. oh, thank God, they just shot it. There's a film crew following in the boat that we don't see every shot from the film crew's perspective. Oh, that's awesome. So it was nice to see. The, my uh, one of the uh, my one complaint is that uh, Rick Overton was completely wasted in the movie. Like he plays a hobo. That uh, they 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 try to help. He was like, does he or was he just sleeping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they were shooting. Say that. Hey, Rick. We love you. There's just no, like there's this guy in the trash who keeps doing yeah. a Sean Connery impression. <laughs> and Rick's he's the guy getting him the cardboard. And he's he, he, well, that was it. That was the thing in the movie where it was like, uh, I was like, I thought you knew mazes. He goes, No, I know cardboard because he's a, he's a, he's a bomb. That That's a very big thing to say. Yeah, too. and. Uh, and he, it, it's funny, you know, Rick is so talented. He just lit up every scene he was in, but he was only in two. Oh, so right. oh, so he was kind of like when you have Rick Overton in a movie, use Rick Overton. You yeah. know, he could have he done a lot more in the film. And I, I him um, and Kevin Pollack are two guys that I can't, be around without having them do Sean Connery, right? And, <laughs> <laughs> and they're willing to do it and the other, every and time. The, and, uh, and Christopher Walken. Christopher Walken. I can't. Yeah, I, yeah. can't <laughs> I can't function. I can't. How many times have you asked Pollock to do Sean Connery? I've never asked Pollock to do Sean okay. Connery. It's always he's Christopher more Walken. Christopher Walken. He's Walken. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah, he is the yeah. He's the Walken guy. Um, mm-hmm. I I do want to say something to your comment about the the uh, well both the the first time director thing. I feel like we we've gotten to a point where no movie can be perfect. And so it's kind of refreshing when you can see a film that's 
sort of tattered around the edges a little bit or mm -hmm. not everything, you know, but it's still, like you said, an original story and concept and right. kind of a fresh new idea. So mm -hmm. I think we could stand to use more of that. Not that I don't love blockbuster yeah. films, and you know, but like shit like this is But it was a fun, absurd movie, and yeah. I'm glad it was made because, you know, it wasn't the kind of thing no big studio is going to fund a movie mm -hmm. like this. And It's actually, yeah. it's this type of premise is well suited for a first-time director. Right, yeah. You know. And an indie distributor and, right. and all that stuff. Now, uh, I saw it on demand, but you had said it's actually getting a, a limited theatrical release, too. It does have a limited too. theatrical release. Mm -hmm. um, so it is. if anyone wants to check it out, I, I, I mean, see it if you can. It's yeah, so you have a choice. You can either go to the theater or see it at home. Um, so it was fun, and it was exactly, it was as advertised. <laughs> you know, whatever what you saw in the trailer, it was, that's what the movie was like. But the good thing about it was that it wasn't the kind of thing, oh, all the best parts and all the best jokes are in the trailer. Yeah. They're not. There's a lot more in the that's movie. Cool. So, well, we'll try so to get I recommend Nick on the show it. To talk about it. Yeah, definitely. He does a good job in it. I shot first!